All right, everybody. It's getting weird up here. It's getting really weird in KP68 shop. <laughs> so what's going on here? All right, I know I'm starting a little bit early, but every Halloween, I say, I'm going to make a theremin, and that Halloween comes and goes, and yet no theremin. So this year, I said I'm going to get started, <laughs> get started early. So what I did was I went online, check out the schematics and and things like that. So I came across this website, which I'll leave a link in the description. So after looking at the schematic and reading what this gentleman had to say, the circuit description, it looked legit. All right, that was the first step. Next step is just to prove the circuit. I'm not going to go ahead and make a, uh, you know, circuit board from scratch because that takes a long time. So I was going to verify the circuit. So I built it on this Vera board, which is not the best for making uh, high frequency circuits or anything with oscillators because uh, you didn't, you do not want to build it on something like this because that can create tons of straight capacitance and really screw your circuits up. It probably, probably won't work. Straight capacitance, straight inductance. So I did my best to uh, keep a lead length strength or, or uh, short as possible. And yeah, it's pretty much a hodgepodge. Like I said, this is just to verify to see if this thing works. All right. So <laughs> let's, uh, here, I'll turn this thing on and I'm, I'm going to refine this. I'm not going to go into where to buy the parts or anything. I'll get back with you guys. And uh, I'm maybe going to leave a link in the description for Theremin um, uh, theory, how everything works. You can read online and it'll, ex it'll explain it way better than I could. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Now, Theremin, basically, your hands, your body's a capacitor. The closer you get to the antenna with your hand, the higher the pitch. So I'm starting about a foot away. <laughs> Remember, especially in the 1950s, the sci-fi movies with the UFOs or scary music, you're going to hear that theremin. <laughs> now, like I said, just verifying, you're supposed to have a nice telescope. Oh, God, <laughs> I'm going to keep my hands away. Nice telescopic antenna. And, uh, but this is just a 16-inch piece of wire. Like I said, I did my best to, uh, oh, I keep forgetting, <laughs> get everything, you know, so it's not too much of a hot spot, but it's pretty much just thrown together. And then I just have my, the audio out going to, I'm going to my Bugami uh, boom box. Now I am going to add a LM386 audio circuit to the final version and, uh, have it all, you know, have its own, you know, battery. Right now it's running on, even though it's a, it's a six volt regulator, but right now I have my power supply. Oh, no, oh, crap, sorry. <laughs> have it on 9 volts so it, it can work on 9 through 12 so <laughs> I keep getting near it so there it is homemade theremin just to prove the circuit works and then from here I'll make my own circuit board and, and take it from here and refine it at first I uh, I had to get it really tight on the antenna but uh, better grounding uh, now it's surging about a foot away so scary my hat's off to this theremin players this thing is sensitive uh, the pitch. Obviously, you, you have to have your hand precisely to get that perfect pitch. So right now, I'll just stick with making uh, UFO sounds and scary mo movie sounds. So uh, it even works on my phone here. <laughs> so there you go. All right, <laughs> having fun in the theremin. Hell, I'm not gonna get anything done today. I'm gonna be in my shop all night going. In fact, you know what? I should hook this up to a 30,000 watt sound system, set up in the yard in the middle of the night, and just sit out there and go. Oh, that might backfire on me. All these aliens might land on my yard. You were communicating with us. All right, I'm going to get on out of here. KP68, scary UFOs and ghosts. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. KP68, free and clear. <laughs>